U.S. chain store sales contracted slightly this past week. It was the third consecutive weekly decline on a comparable store basis and signaled no changes in the skittish consumer mood of the past 12 months. Tiffany was the latest retailer to report results. Now overall sales fell 16 percent. But sales at its New York flagship store plummeted 30 percent. And the U.S. in general experienced the worst performance of any region with sales off by 27 percent. Net earnings for Tiffany fell 26 percent for its quarter ending July 31st. The DTC site estimate was at $480 million, about 38 percent lower from August 2008. Estimated sales for the first seven sites of the year are down by about half. Our site expert is here to discuss what was on the minds of site holders. Hello, Avi. Well, Jeff, it appears that both site holders and DTC expected a larger site than transpired last week, and it seems that there were some shortages of De Beers goods in certain categories. It could well be that De Beers is still waiting for new production to filter through after closing its mines in the first and second quarters. Demand was consistent with the July site, fueled by site holder preparations for India's Diwali festival in October and for the Christmas season. Many, in fact, believe that demand for rough may have peaked in August and that DTC sales at the remaining three sites of the year will likely be smaller. Of highest concern to manufacturers, however, is that rough prices increased again slightly in August, not only at DTC but at other mining companies too, while polished prices have moved very little. This has caused some to expect a correction in the market, speculating on a possible polished price increase or rough price decline. With more rough coming to the market from De Beers and El Rosa, and very few positive signals coming from the retail market in the United States, Rough seems to be the only variable moving in the diamond equation at the moment. And that's left a lot of manufacturers confused and concerned. Jeff? Thank you, Avi. Time to check on how precious metals prices fared this week. For all the latest industry news, please visit diamonds.net.